Welcome back to What Are Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a batch at Barask. It's a tier 8 French premium medium located on the south spawn of mines. It's under the command of the Royal Penguin. And he's in a skirmish. Yep, he's sent us some skirmish replays. We will do these because uh, it's interesting to actually see how people get on in skirmish battles. Now, the batch at Barask is basically the combination of two light tanks. It's basically an EBR 105 and a Batch at 12 ton. But um, this project never existed because the Batch at 12 ton was cancelled before the EBR was actually generated. It does have good burst damage, 720 hit points from two shots and a fairly quick reload as well. By the book it's 21.54 but he's got it down to 20.54. Okay, the enemy has gone around through the island area. There's just somebody around the corner, he's trying to get shots on those guys. Oh, and the defender just drives straight into view and he's backing away. His reverse speed is only 23, was it 29? 23 comps now, so he does take a round from the 7032. Luckily it was only one, and now the T-54 Mod 1 is taking the punishment until he can get a reload in, and then he can hit these guys. He kills the 7032, puts a round into the traps of the defender. But they're basically holding out now against these heavies whilst they're being exterminated from behind. Okay, now they've got this defender surrounded. And we're just waiting for the reload to go through. He's gone. Now, I wonder if the Royal Penguin's going to try and do something about these guys by going down the cliff edge and getting behind them. I think it could be quite interesting if he does. He's waiting for them to back up. Puts one into the engine bay, tracks the... Uh, the IS-3 pulls back before that guy can do anything and I think they've got the upper hand now seeing as they've got the hill and the enemy are out of position their teammates are going to get wiped out although they have killed a few okay like the T-49 you hit these guys with an ambush at close range and that's another one goes to lower plate who gets that but now he's got to reload so he has to stay behind this Meanwhile, the 50TP looks like he's actually getting rammed from behind, or hit from behind by the Progetto 46. Okay, now he's in a lot of trouble because our guys are going in. Lower plate. Oh, no, can't get it. Tries to go for the driver's port. Doesn't. Oh, he does get it. And he gets the kill shot as well. Okay, looks like the enemy are being held up at the south by our IS-3, and the scores are still even. Okay, he's got his second load in, or his next load in. Who's first? I'm trying to decide which one. He goes for the Pantera, who's a one-shot. Oh, and the Pantera goes down to uh, somebody else. It was the Lerva who killed him. So unfortunately, neither of those shells actually did any good. But uh, he might be able to get shots on that M41 if he stays in that area. These guys are kind of in a killing zone now because there's guys in three different directions above them. And he's got that horrible ridgeline to deal with. T-54, first prototype, takes a round and he's out of the game. Gets around into the Centurion, but he takes a round in return. And he did actually suffer that shot into the engine of the back chat. Uh, so, yeah, the team are still doing well, though. They've got the advantage on hit points. Now, let's see if we can get that M41. He's going to pop out from behind those bushes if he needs to. Oh, we just saw him briefly. And it's one shot in. Try to get it again. Yep, he gets it. Oh, he got a fire. And that M41D has gone up. So... Now they've got a two tank advantage and it's all over. All of the enemy are dead. There's only two left on their team and it's the Royal Penguin who actually won. So let's have a look at the end of battle results and see how well they did. And here's the end of battle results and it was, well there was no, um, there was no medals awarded in that game but you can see from the scores that uh, 
the uh, Royal Penguin did actually rather well in terms of damage. He got the highest damage of 4,162. The next highest damage was the CS52 on the enemy team, 2,604. And then it was the IS-3A with 2,596. When it came to kills, Raw Penguin got the most with five kills, two kills for the IS-3A, the M41D and the IS-3 on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, yes, it's Raw Penguin again with 1568, 1242 to the uh, IS-3A, the only other one left alive in the game. And 980 goes to the Progetto, at least one of them. They fired all... Oh, Raw Penguin fired 18 rounds in that game, got 17 direct hits and 13 penetrations. Damage of 4,162 hit points, of which 1,450 wrote more than 300 meters. He received three hits from the enemy, all three penetrated. I'm afraid this is basically a light tank uh, in disguise. It's not really a medium tank as such. Uh, I know Wargaming likes to pass it off as such, but it is actually a fantasy because th this tank never existed. It's got the hull of a batch at 12 ton and the turret of an ebr 105 it's a monstrosity really because it's actually quite deadly and normally it's targeted straight away by any player on the enemy team because yeah they are just so dangerous for their burst damage three enemy vehicles were spotted eight enemy vehicles were damaged five were killed and 604 hit points of damage assistance he earned 98,581 credits for the game and after repair and ammunition resupply and consumables he took away a profit of 125,456 credits for the game 1,568 xp times two for the first victory 235 for this being a premium vehicle took away 4,939 experience points altogether so uh, pretty good um, skirmish there. Generated a lot of credits in a very short period of time. 4 minutes 24 seconds to 125,000 credits. Yes, if only people at, uh, at the lower tiers knew that, then obviously they'd be desperate to get hold of Barask because it could unlock so many tanks by uh, uh, providing them with bounteous quantities of credits. But of course, not everyone can play the Barask and play it well. You have to treat it like an ambush tank, really. Just roll up to somebody and blast them in the side with two rounds and then quickly make a getaway before they respond. So, uh, if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.